Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you another easy design to paint on glass or any surface that you choose from. I am going to be painting it on this green glass wine bottle or yeah wine bottle and I will be using 3 Magic paint brushes. I'm going to be using a number 2, a number 6, and a number eight. These are all flat brushes. They're long handled, which not real thrilled with those, but I do like the brushes. And then a dotting stylus. The paint I'm using today, Moon Yellow, Wicker White, Real Brown, Thicket, and Perfect Purple. These are all folk art products, a mixture of enamels and multi-surface paints. I have cleaned my bottle. It's important that you wash your glass spray with soap and water before you start. And then you go over it with denatured rubbing alcohol or rubbing alcohol, whatever you have available to you. Just to make sure that you get all the dust and grime and oil off of it before you start painting. I am going to begin with my bigger brush and it's the number eight and what I'm going to do is start drawing in because time is an herb and so I it's kind of a spraggly type of a plant so I'm going to go ahead and just start drawing in my little parts here that I'll put my design on and I'm going to go ahead and do one off to the side here. I didn't do that on my actual uh, beginning on my paper because I always do my my samples on paper before I actually start painting them. I'm going to go ahead and go over my branches with some wicker white just so that you can actually see them better because obviously painting them on this dark bottle can make it a little difficult to see. And I actually like when I'm doing a branchy kind of uh, design, I do like to throw in some white with that or even the, the warm white is nice as well. Now while I'm painting this, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those down below and sorry that if I hit that. I'm going over the white now with some brown just to kind of blend it in a little bit. Mix it in so it doesn't all look like I just stuck a bunch of white on top. And we will continue here. Just a very simple, and keep in mind if you're new to my channel, that is the intent of my channel is to produce very simplistic designs. Alright, so the next one I'm going to do is just tip my brush into my thicket and into the moon yellow, do blending strokes before I begin and just keep doing that and then I'm going to take my brush and do some some pulls meaning that I'm just on the chisel edge the side not flat but like this you can do it so it's not flat like this but I'm doing it like this using the side angle and doing just this arrangement of little poles right here little I guess you consider them leaves and then I'll do the top part and I'm just going to come back I want to try to get some of this green or this yellow to show so I'll probably end up pulling it with some of that as well just to give a mixture of greens into the design and the thicker you apply your paint just so you know the, the more durable your design is going to be so that's kind of a key to painting on glass now when you're painting on a glass bottle, something that's not going to be handled a whole lot, it's not as important as it is if you're doing wine glasses or drinking glasses of some sort. Anything that's going to be used often and 
handled and washed a lot, you want to make sure that you apply the paint you know, as, as thickly as you can. Not too thick, because you don't want it to be too thick so that it bubbles when you bake it. But you want to have nice coverage. Having a thin amount of paint on will not be durable. I promise you that it will not last. And then I'm just going to come out here because I want it to be a little taller. Just like I did on the other one. Okay, and then I'm going to come back down here where this hits and do a similar, just real quick and easy pulls. Nothing real difficult. And if you're afraid to paint, please don't be afraid to. For one thing, if you don't like your design, guess what? You can wipe it off, wash it off, and start again. It's one of the great benefits of painting on glass is that it is very easy to start over if you make if you think you made a mistake. Personally, I just feel like I just keep going. Most of the time, I can't say that I've never washed something off because I have, but majority of the time I just figure out a way to make it work while I'm working with it, if that makes sense. All right, I'm going to do one last one over here, my little side branch. Yeah, people probably don't realize sometimes that these herbs are actually can be really pretty pretty flowers can really add a lot to your garden space besides the fact that they're good to add to your cooking if you're successful so that's our part in life right now is trying to be successful with our garden I know we have some people around us that are raising and raised boxes, some awesome gardens. <laughs> it's like, oh my goodness, how's come they're being so successful and we can't get it to work in a galvanized tub that we have in with our bees? For you that don't realize that we bee keep. All right, so I have that. The next thing I'm going to do is to take my smaller brush, my number two flat brush. I'm going to dip one side into the Perfect Purple and one side into the Worker White and do blending strokes. And then I'm going to, and I'm trying not to, trying, I'm going to move this plate out of the way. I'm trying not to stick my plate or my bottle here down so I don't mess it up. Now I'm just doing some quick little pulls into this, and then I'm going to do some little flowers. It's kind of the little pulls that I'm putting in here are just to help fill it in a little bit, make it look like I have more flowers up in here. Just quick, I like very quick and easy designs. Even just put a little bit more up in here. And you can come down a little bit if you want to do this, like maybe put some poles into your the other parts that are below. I'm not going to do it all the way down, just in some of them. Do some more blending strokes. Come up here, and I'm going to do the same thing. Add some. Just make it make it kind of full. And like I have have some other flowers going up in here. And you could put more purple. If you feel like it's not showing enough purple, you can add more purple to it. However you want to do it. And I'm doing the same here, just adding just some other uh, purple and white to it. Not really making full-fledged flowers in it. 
and then I'm going to come up here and do the same thing. And again, if you feel like you're not getting enough purpley look, then go over it. Take charge of your design. Very simple. So I say I like to create very simple designs, things that you as a beginner hopefully would feel comfortable simulating because I do like for people to be creative. I think it's a great stress reliever maybe in addition to not drinking or drinking along and maybe enjoying you know it's it's really up to you but again it's just just relaxing put some like that and then what I'm going to do is come in with my stylus and just put some dots I'm going to put dots sporadically making it look like maybe there's a little bit more blooms or flowers up in the top here than maybe what I actually initially created just to give it not there, but just to give it a look of being a little fuller at the top part. Yeah, see, there you go. And then the last thing that I'm going to do, as I mentioned, this is a very simple, simple, simple design. I'm going to come through here and then add some finishing leaves to come into the bottoms here and do that to all of them but if you notice I waited until I finished painting these flowers in before I came through to add these finishing leaves and again I'm just pushing down and pulling pushing down and pulling and it's a very loose very loose painting. Matter of fact, I can make that a little bit bigger. And you just have to realize that when you're doing kind of flowers like this, or we're using like the side of the brush, the more pressure you put on the brush, the thicker that leaf is going to be. Let me just do one down here just to kind of simulate so you can see I had two. And then come here, I want to knock that off just a tad bit. Come here, come here. And if you don't like the mixture of color, you could just use single green if you wanted to. I just like to have another color intermix with it. So that's why I do it the way I do it. But there you have it. Very simple and pretty. So I say that it doesn't have to be covering the full bottle, bottle to be pretty. It can be something simple like the time that I just did. You can do it all the way around the bottle, put a light in your bottle, have your friends over, have a painting party. So much fun. So easy to do. Alright, I hope you like this video. If you do, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And before you leave, one last request hit that share button that you'll see underneath the video when you're finished watching and share this on your social network with all of your family and friends. I would appreciate it. All right. Thanks again so much for taking time to watch my video. Please feel free to stay around and watch some more. And until the next time, please stay safe and healthy and you have a good one.